Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Drive to School podcast. We are talking about the things that you will see in church this Sunday, and it is Lent. And so one of the things you might see in church this Sunday is Jesus, say from uh, Luke chapter 11, every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And that should be at least a little bit intimidating as a Christian because everywhere we go, we drag our past behind us. We drag behind us our addictions and our debts, our diseases, our mistakes, our, our accidents, our broken relationships. We we have a word for it. We call it baggage. It is the sum of all of the reasons that we are real messed up and it adds up quick and it weighs you down so much that uh, most of us actually try and avoid people with too much baggage because it, it changes them usually not for the better. Once you have been hurt, it, it's too easy to think about being hurt again. It's too easy to be so focused on it that that's all you can see. Once you know how easy someone is to, to look at uh, and then lie to, well, it, it's hard to trust people because you've got that baggage and you know how easy it is to bend the truth. A blank slate is always easier to deal with than baggage. And so when it comes to, to you guys, we'll try and protect the kids from actually seeing too much. We'll try and tell you not to make the mistakes that we did all while wishing that we could start over with a blank slate because we know what dragging baggage around behind us feels like. And it means that even when we want to start over, we, we can't. Even when we want to jump into something new, we can never actually be all in because baggage is a house divided. Every day, your dreams for your future have to fight against the nightmares from your past. And Jesus himself says that every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste and a divided household falls. And so we fall. Some secretly by cover of darkness, some all too publicly, and we can just go ahead and get it out there. Christians have baggage to Christians, have sin to Christians, wrestle with every evil that everyone else does to, and we lose every bit as often. How could the house divided ever stand, even if there's a cross on the top of it, not by its own works? How could anyone be expected to carry around all this baggage and move forward, even if they wear a cross necklace? How can sinners stand under all of the weight of all of it? And if you find yourself trying to deal with it without letting anyone know that you even have it, you can see how quick you feel unclean. See how quick it becomes difficult to even look at yourself in the mirror because that voice whispers that you can stand on your own and you try and work it into a a mantra of I think I can or I'll do my best or five positive things or any of these other things that help us pretend it's okay when it's not. We pretend to be the strong man, fully armed, guarding our own palace, able to carry every bit of it. And the truth uh, is worse. You, you know that it's worse. Bottling up all this stuff is not healthy for anyone. And sooner or later, someone stronger comes along. Sooner or later, something happens and we cannot handle it anymore. And, and we collapse under the weight of all of our baggage and we are overtaken because there's always going to be someone stronger. The difference, though, between the Christian and everyone else in the world is in how much baggage we can accumulate or, or, or how we can manage to escape it or we just give it all to the Lord because that's, that's kind of ridiculous. It, it, it's what we actually say when the strong man is bound. We say good when the strong man who thinks he can do everything on his own is bound and his house is plundered. That's where God works. And that's where that little voice that tells us to carry it all ourselves is seen for what it is. It's, it's demonic. It's satanic. It's evil. Why would you carry it? Just let it be taken away. That's what happens when the strong man is taken down. See, you don't give your problems to Jesus. He comes in, kicks your door down, ties you up takes them and then carries them to the cross for you, whether or not you want him to. Every last bit of guilt that you can come up with for the things that you have done, every last bit of shame that you can sort of dwell up within yourself for the things that have been done to you, God robs that from you. He does not let you give it to him. He steals it. The finger of God casts out demons. The kingdom of God has come. The strong man has been overcome because Jesus died on the cross for you to forgive you all your sins, to give you a baptism that washes you holy and clean, not able to make better choices or shed your own baggage, but because he has simply picked it all up, bore it to the cross, and called it forgiven. That's how we deal with baggage. It's not always fun, but we, we call it forgiven, not excused, not, not understood, not, not self-actualized, but just forgiven. Because, well, this is, this is the victory that we cling to. God, in, in his great mercy, he doesn't wait for you to get your life together, understand yourself well enough to shed yourself of the things that are killing you. Before you ever thought to ask, he came into this world, died on the cross for you. 
before you could ever give him the things that you're not entirely sure you want to be rid of because they're at least comfortable. He stole them. He stole your sin. He left it at the cross. You can't have it back. You, you now are free. Free not simply to live a life that is free from ever having to wrestle with baggage again, but free in that you never have to have it own you. Because every time it quells up, every time that it starts to, to feel like too much, every time that you start to see the future the same way that you saw your past, you get to look at a cross and say, all of it, all of it killed God, but God couldn't stay dead. He is risen from the grave. And so despite how completely overwhelming all of it feels, there's a resurrection for you. That stuff doesn't get to own you, and it doesn't get to drag you down because it's been buried already.